Today we're going to be discussing galvanic cells. I will be using an old VCAR example to help illustrate the basics of these cells. In a galvanic cell, we have two electrodes. In this case, we have a silver electrode and a zinc electrode. Now, using the electrochemical series, which is found in your data book, you will find that silver is the strongest oxidant present. Therefore, it itself will be reduced. Zinc is the strongest reductant present and therefore itself will be oxidized. In a galvanic cell and in an electrolytic cell, the cathode is always the site of reduction. So in this case, our silver electrode will be our cathode. And the other one, the zinc electrode, will be our anode. Now, in a galvanic cell, our cathode is positive. One way to remember this is cathode is like cat, and cats make people happy. Now, the anode sounds like anion. Anions are negative ions, so therefore, our anode is negative. For VCAR questions, you will need to clearly be able to label a cathode as positive and an anode as negative in a galvanic cell. In a galvanic cell, our anode is a site of oxidation. Now you may have heard in year 11, oil rig. So anode is oil and cathode is rig. Oil stands for oxygen is loss. Therefore, oxygen is a loss of electrons. At the cathode, we have rig, meaning reduction is gain, or reduction is a gain of electrons. Therefore, if we are losing electrons at the anode and gaining them at the cathode, our electrons must be flowing from the anode to the cathode. So from the zinc electrode to the silver electrode. Now the purpose of a salt bridge in a galvanic cell is to maintain electrical neutrality. What this means is that it stops a buildup of charge. We will have an electrolyte in here, usually with positive ions and with negative ions. Now positive ions, although it sounds counterintuitive, flow to the positive electrode. And our negative ions flow to our negative electrode. As you can see, there was a flow of electrons around the circuit. So in BCE chemistry, you will need to clearly be able to label that the cathode is the site of reduction and the anode is the site of oxidation. You will also need to be able to label the direction of flow of electrons and explain what the salt bridge does. Thank you for watching today and I hope that this will help you in your studies.